I'm Greg Johnson, and this is another update in the SuperShrinkMe.com 120-Day Wellness Challenge. Today is day 91, and I'm in the car today because I'm going to leave work a little bit early to work on a video project over in Coralville. So I have to take the tripod, and I'm gonna, it's a multi-camera shoot, so I'm going to use several cameras to do the video shoot. Um, so that's why I'm bringing the car to work today, but hopefully uh, by tomorrow I'll be back. There's a friendly little parking machine that takes my almost nine or ten dollars a day to park in this particular parking lot. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to do this multi-camera shoot, but hopefully tomorrow back on the bicycle and uh, I'm going to be doing some more work tomorrow, but it's going to be Stuff that I'm doing downtown, so nothing that requires the car, fortunately. It's the uh, 8 o'clock whistle in the background. Just parked in the ramp here. Uh, Burlington Street and Clinton. And this is where you'll find uh, the downtown Iowa City Starbucks. I'm going to stop here on my way, walking to the office. Pick up a uh, Hopefully they'll have them, the uh, spinach veggie wrap. So I just had lunch at the Wedge downtown here in the pedestrian mall and uh, had a couple of slices of veggie pizza. Um, that doesn't keep up with my goal to avoid dairy and wheat and gluten, but had some really fresh veggies on there and uh, tried to keep the portion size down, so at least that's a plus. And now I'm heading back to the office. You know, um, as I was eating lunch, I was checking out the uh, my YouTube posts just to see how many views some of the videos it had, and was really encouraged to see that uh, oh, a few days ago, one of these uh, Super Shrink Me posts had received over 30 views, which is not a big number in the YouTube sphere, but um, was encouraging to me because it shows me that there's, you know, a few dozen people out there interested in following this project along. <clears throat> so uh, that got me thinking that, um, you know, a lot of the success behind programs like Weight Watchers is due to the... Uh, that that dynamic where you know if you're going to a Weight Watchers meeting you're seeing usually a lot of the same people every week and so there's that motivation to like um, be accountable and you get your successes are rewarded you know within the Weight Watchers community there's a statistic that uh, makes sense um, indicating that people who join with a friend if there are two people who are committing to that program, uh, you're more likely to be successful than if you do it on your own. So that ramps it up again. But for anyone out there wanting to duplicate this uh, Super Shrink Me 120 Day Wellness Challenge, um, I would encourage you to do these kind of like post it to Facebook or whatever is your style, videos, writing, because you know, as you embrace this as something that you're doing, you get engaged with it. It's like, it's not just something that's, um, you know, in the background of your life, but it's like the thing you're working on, you know. You make it a priority and it, be, it sort of consumes your time and it becomes kind of at the forefront of your thought process during the day. You're more likely to be successful with this. And so, you know, you could blog about it, journal about it, take photos if you're into Pinterest and Instagram and all of that. I'm trying to use all these social networks and the social media um, because that's my job is to like learn about these things and to use them. So I'm using YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Um, but whatever, you know, whatever's your style, whatever works. But I, I do think, you know, connecting with people, making it a public project gives you that positive feedback. It makes you um, more kind of accountable and since you know that like your friends are out there keeping track as well that you want to succeed and try even harder so 
Anyway, um, that's it for now. Lunch break is over. I'm going to head back to the office, and I'll check in a little bit later. So it's uh, almost 4 o'clock. I'm heading over to Coraville from Iowa City. It'd take about 10, 15 minutes maybe to do this video shoot, which should be pretty interesting. It's going to be a multi-camera video recording session of Dave Burt from Burt Family Food Services doing some instruction on cooking vegan and how to create some healthy, nutritious meals. Uh, so it, it'll be nice. I've not done a multi-camera recording quite like this one before. I'm planning to use about four or five cameras simultaneously to get multiple angles. There is a really neat feature inside of Final Cut Pro that allows you to just import all of these recordings and then it synchronizes them. As you're playing it back you can um, basically go from selecting one camera to the other camera and it's as if you were you know, recording it live and doing those edits live or just after the fact. Um, but it's really nice because you can create a more dynamic visual video representation of an event and ensure that you're getting a good view of the person talking or whatever's being demonstrated. Um, so uh, I've, I've done this with two and three cameras before when people are giving uh, just a presentation from a podium, you know, but um, nothing quite like a, a cooking demonstration. So I'm really happy to have this chance to do this. So I just finished up the video recording of Dave Burt, and he's getting ready for a class this evening at the New Pioneer Co-op in Coraville. Uh, one of the perks of doing the video of the pre-class uh, preparation and cooking of some food was to uh, get a meal myself that was cooked by Dave and it was delicious so that was dinner this evening um, and I guess uh, I could probably go through what it was. It was uh, some zucchini and green peppers um, and a bunch of other great veggies served up with uh, the sauce was a let's see it was kind of a mustard sweet sauce really delicious. So anyway, that video is going to go live at some point. You can watch it and enjoy. So it's the end of day 91. Nothing uh, else re really to report from today. Um, tomorrow, day 92. So thanks to everybody that's following along and uh, look forward to checking in with you again tomorrow.